I'm at LA Public Library, hello, at their Octavia Lab, working on their D DIY memory lab. And this is their Wolverine uh, film scanner that scans eight millimeter and Super 8 film. I brought in a Super 8 film to show a little comparison of different scanning techniques. But now I'm just gonna show you how to like load it and use it. So um, you guys can decide kind of like if you want to maybe spend the money on it um, for your lab because it does seem like it's pretty safe, especially film that's not shrunken or doesn't smell super vinegary. Um, I, I would feel like I feel very comfortable using this film on, um, on this. Another fun thing that they did here because they have a 3D printer is they um, took a um, super eight adapter, real adapter, and they just um, reprinted it and made it on their 3D printer. So we're gonna get you guys that if you have a 3D printer, you can make them and then maybe a DCPL will be able to make some and send them out to you guys um, if you want some. So that's awesome, LAPL. I think it was a volunteer that did that, so super cool. Um, so this is your take-up reel. Uh, and your take-up reel goes over here. And there are these little keys here, um, and you'll see this sort of little slot that this will fit into, and then you kind of, it, it's nice and snug on there. So here's my film, um, and then my film has a bunch of liter on it, which is good. It's a little bit much right now, a little bit much of liter, uh, but basically you want liter on your film, and this is something you can have uh, some people won't have it on their home movies, um, so you'll have to buy some and then they can splice, you'll have to buy a splicer and all that jazz. Because you want people to fix their splices, um, or at least make sure that their splices are good and will hold up in this so that they don't have to fiddle with it, because this does take a long time, that's one thing that you'll see. Um, so you want to make sure that um, they go through and check their splices first fix their splices if there's a problem. Make sure it's not super shrunken or brittle so it won't break. And then put some leader on it. And I always like to write, um, the head is the beginning of the film. So you'll, and that's how you want to load it is with the heads out. Um, so you wanna write that on your film. So you know when you look at it, like, is it? And then tails is the end of the film. You can also, you know, put whatever word will make you realize that this is the beginning of the film. Um, and this is how you want to thread it. So you want to put a little bit of leader. And then I already put this, um, one of the adapters in the reel, but you'll see why we have these adapters is because this isn't going to fit, right? So um, we put the adapter in the side. One side doesn't have any of those slots. This side does. So side with slots, side with no slots. So we're going to take this, with the notches, see? And it might take a little bit. It took me a little while to get it to like fit the way I wanted it to. Um, there we go, and you hear a nice satisfying snap. Um, but yeah, the, when, you, when you print things, sometimes like there's a little extra plastic, so this kind of popped off a little bit, but it fits nicely now, so. Then we come over here and we Here's our little slot there. Well, and then there's just the littlest indentation there. So we pop, pop it in there and then it's nice and snug. Then um, I like to, since this is where it's really good to have a lot of leader so you're not like touching and getting your finger juice all over uh, your film. You're just getting it on your leader. Um, so right now I am going to just Put my, there's a little slot here. I'm going to take my leader and just um, kind of bend it in there. So like that. And I just move it around like it's a record I am spinning. And then it kind of catches a little bit and that's what you want. So okay, we've got that connected. Then I like to pull out a little extra leader. Um, and honestly, at this point, since I have so much leader on here, I'm gonna really, uh... So now, so now, you basically just follow the arrows with the leader over here. Um, in here, you flip this open, 
Okay, so here's the show again. Um, I'm a little worried about the dirt that's kind of accumulating right here, so you might wanna just like get um, some distilled water or something. Don't use alcohol in this because this is plastic, but maybe like at the end of the week or something, you get some distilled water and just kind of like clean that up a little bit because it's looked a little dirty. Anyway, um, but you get one of these like puffer things and you can kind of clean the dust out of there. Um, and then it's hard, it's very hard to see, but you'll get it. You would see it if you were physically there. I doubt it'll come too much across uh, right now. But, so there is a slot, a like metal slot, right there on the right side. And then there's, there's these two white slots. So white and white, and like that one in there is kind of white too. I'm going to, you have to put the film under those slots. So I like the one in the middle, from the furthest away from you, is the one I want to do first. So we kind of like slide it under, there it is. Then I'm gonna slide it under that one. Then, gonna slide it under that one. Great. Then, you close it. And we wanna make sure it's on the right one. So this is Super 8, and that's because, you can see because the um, sprocket holes are smaller. Uh, so, but if it was 8, we would just pooch that on over, but it's Super 8. So now, we just need to make sure that our leader is following the yellow brick road there. Um, so it's going this way, and you want it to go around that roller. Then you follow it, it wants to go around that roller, and this one, and these, and then it's beautiful. And we press power. Then you hit menu. And there are a lot of things in the menu that you can go through, um, but first I just wanna show you, you hit record, it says select film type, and it just tells you what to do down here. But we're good, we have it good. So we're just pre pressing enter again. And it's going to start doing each frame. And this is where it's like, I'm happy that the leader ends right there so that we can very quickly get to an actual image. Because you will want to kind of play around with the exposure and the adjust the framing a little bit, which you guys will, once we get an image coming up. Um, so I did already play with it, so that's why it's actually looking pretty good. Um, and let me show, I'll show you, I'm gonna stop. So I'm stopping it, okay. And that's how you, then you can get back in the menu. We're going down. So the exposure is how uh, bright the brightness of it so I'm gonna go into that and I have made it really bright so I'm gonna just go to zero again to the normal brightness that I have so you can also make it darker if you feel like it needs to be sharpness you can um, so if you go to high it just looks really grainy so I'm gonna go uh, I've chosen high so you can just kind of see now frame adjustment adjustment is what I really think you guys are gonna want because when I first got it it was like when I first put the film on, okay? And so then if I go into, um, back to menu, and then I start it again, yep. We know we're doing it right. I do, it was just like not looking right, right? I was like, oh, that doesn't look good. Because <laughs> you can see the top of the frame and you can see the slide, so you want more of the, you're cutting off a lot, and it's just, it's not gonna look good. So um, I stopped it went into menu, frame adjustment. And then this is where I was just like, you press down and up when it says Y to move the frame up. And then if you wanna move the frame to the left or the right, okay, now it's, I did it too much. Um, then you press enter and then we'll go, oh wait, what is this? Oh, this is zooming out, oh cool. I didn't even know it did that. That's great. Um, so if I press enter again, then it'll go left and right. Cool. That's super cool, because I was worried we were cropping off a lot. Um, so enter will go down, okay. And then enter again, and I'm zooming in. Ooh. And then enter again, and I'm going, because I just kind of cut that off a little bit. I kind of, let's see, and then 
you can just keep playing with it if you want and getting it like the way that you want. I kind of like to have as much of the frame as possible. So um, I'm gonna go for that. And then hit, oh wait, no, no. And then menu will take you back to nothing. Yep. And then we don't go and do the start. Yeah, and see, that looks much better, and we're getting the full frame uh, and all the visual information that we would want, potentially. Um, and then you can also, like I said, you can see more grain in this one, then it just looks grainier when you do sharper versus not sharp. Um, so you can just play with those, but it's more the frame adjustment, I think, that is the most important. And then as you can see, like this is not really a long reel, but it's going to take a while. It takes 10 minutes to do 10 minutes of this to do one minute of film. So you really gonna, you know, really choose wisely. <laughs> um, and then I will uh, send you guys also the, or maybe I'll just edit into this video the side by side comparison of um, this film as it is now versus a six figure or at least five figure film scanner whereas this is under a thousand dollars but just keep in mind that this is eight and super eight so it doesn't do any other formats and it only works on silent film so yeah cool